guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Change of Pace collection from the brand Morgan Taylor for fall 2023. These were sent to me from Beyond Polish to swatch and share with you guys. I do now have a discount code. It'll be here on the screen as well as in the description. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be an affiliate code. So if you're not comfortable using it, totally understand. But if you do use it, I make a small commission off of sales, potentially. So in the description box, I will link the Beyond Polish site, I will link their Instagram page, I will link the Morgan Taylor site, I will link the Morgan Taylor Instagram page, and then I'll link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. Anyway, these are available right now. This is my first collection for fall 2023, and it is easily my favorite um, season for nail polish, so I'm getting very excited. We have six polishes in this collection, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Golden Hour Glow, and this one is a kind of burnt orange with a golden shimmer. The formula on this was great. I am starting out with my favorite of the collection. I loved this polish so much. The gold shimmer that's in here is very strong. It's super finely pigmented, so it does have some brush strokes through it when it's wet, and most of those do hang around when it's dry. So on your second coat, you do want to work in a straight as possible for your strokes that way your brush strokes are nice and even and if you absolutely hate brush strokes you could definitely sponge on your final coat of this and it will give less appearance to brush strokes i think they're beautiful i did get full coverage here in two coats i added some top coat just for some protection removal will be easy nothing dries textured and i didn't have any kind of staining so there are two coats of golden hour glow My other favorite of the collection is here. This is called Lost My Terrain of Thought. This is kind of a baby puke color, if you will. Formula on this is excellent. Very, very full coverage here on this first coat. I didn't have base coat on, so I am going to go for two coats, but I do think if you really, really wanted to get away with one coat of this, you maybe could. The formula was wonderful though, not too thick or too thin, very smooth, even application. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two. This does dry relatively glossy all on its own, but a top coat will help it get to that plump, finished look that says I just left the salon. I didn't have any staining on my nails. I did leave this on only for the swatch, but I did have a little bit of staining on my skin, so I would recommend using a base coat. So there are two coats of Lost My Terrain of Thought. Up next we have Stay Off the Trail, and this one is a dusty, kind of muted, pale, purple mauve color. This is also really opaque here on this first coat. These Morgan, Poli Morgan Taylor polishes are absolutely excellent. Formula is again very smooth, even, no running, pooling, or staining, and very nicely opaque here on this first coat. This is another one that if you're in an absolute rush and you worked a little bit thicker, you could probably get away with one, but I am showing you two for full coverage today. Just like the last polish we looked at, this does dry relatively glossy, but for that nice, plump, finished, manicured look, you're going to want a top coat to finish this off. I had zero staining with this one, but I do still recommend using a base coat, so there are two coats of Stay Off the Trail. Up next we have Sappy But Sweet, and this one is a very royal magenta color, and it has a very strong pinky shimmer. This is extremely opaque here on this first coat, um, virtually a one-coater. Again, I am going to show you what two looks like just for a completed manicure feel, but I had zero visible nail line after the first coat, and after adding the second coat, I didn't really notice a deepening of the color, so I think this one is a very big contender for a one-coater if you like that look. Here's our second coat, and I am happy with that in two. This one does dry also relatively glossy, but again, for that finished look, you're going to want a top coat. This is a shimmer, even though it is a larger particle shimmer. Um, I didn't have any kind of texture, so you don't have to have any trouble with removal or brush strokes. So there are two coats of Sappy But Sweet. Next we have Do Me A Favor, and this one is a kind of putty-colored base, 
and then it has this Aurora shimmer in it and the shimmer does go from a gold to like a green to a red at extreme angles. However, that was only visible in the bottle. I wasn't able to translate any kind of shifty qualities onto my nail. Um, but the shimmer is there. It is strong. It is pretty. It's just not shifty. The formula on this was good. It didn't self-level super well and it was a little bit chalky. So I did need three coats for full coverage. It also dries on the dull side of things. So I think a top coat for this one for more than just finishing purposes, it'll help bring the polish back to life. So here's our third coat and that does cover completely in three but it was a floated careful three since it didn't self level. It did kind of want to be uneven. So I did have to float my brush here on this third coat just to make sure I didn't end up with any uneven spots. Nothing dry textured removal is easy. So there are three coats of do me a favor. And lastly for today, we have all good in the woods. And this one is kind of trickery for me to describe. It's, somewhat black um, my photo or my videos here show better than the bottle shot did so it's somewhat black it's somewhat brown and then some lightings looks gray and I think a lot of that has to do with this bright red shimmer that's in here again the shimmer translates better in the bottle than it did on the nail but it is still there on the nail it just doesn't look as red pretty opaque here on this first coat I did get full coverage in two coats this does dry relatively glossy all on its own. That top coat will be there just to a protect your manicure and help it last as long as possible and be give it that nice, again, finished right out of the salon look. Since this is shimmer, nothing is going to dry textured, nothing will be difficult to remove, and it is a larger particle shimmer so you don't have to worry about brush strokes. But there are two coats of all good in the woods. And here's a look at the full collection. We have a couple really, really good staples for fall, um, but those first two really get me. The Golden Hour Glow is so stinking pretty. I am finishing up a couple swatches today, but I am putting it on right after because it is so beautiful. The baby puke color I know is not going to be for everybody, but it is absolutely for me, and I think this is going to make a gorgeous fall time manicure. The mauve is the staple for fall. The kind of plummy magenta color I know is going to touch a lot of people's hearts and then the two shimmers there at the end are beautiful standalone polishes for really any time of the year so I do think this is a absolutely stellar collection to start with for my fall collections but let me know what you guys think and guys that is it let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and i will talk to you again next time